the Yellow Emperor or Huang Di is considered the grandfather of Chinese civilization, the founding lord of their culture somewhere around 2700 BC. He's credited with creating Chinese medicine, wooden houses, bronze coins, and the written Chinese language. And his wife apparently invented silk. Now, a few days ago, Ancient Aliens uploaded a video on YouTube about the Yellow Emperor. You know, that guy who was on the meme, I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. Everything's always about aliens with that guy. Well, here's what he says about the Yellow Emperor. According to ancient Chinese legends, the Yellow Emperor was floating through space he saw that the people of Earth were sad and poor. First of all, according to what legend? The Shiji, or Records of the Grand Historian, does in fact say that he was born on Earth, and even says the name of his father, Huang Di Zhe. It does, however, describe him as a spiritual being from birth. So maybe he was able to go up to space afterwards and then come back? I don't know. Let's keep going. So in order to help the people, he descended from the sky and taught those people different scientific disciplines. Now, the Yellow Emperor's classic of internal alchemy does start with the Yellow Emperor asking his doctor why people only lived 50 years or so, whereas people of a more ancient time lived 100 years. So that part is historically accurate. He is believed to have seen people suffering and wanted to help, but I don't think it implies that he was an alien. I'm guessing it's more like the idea of the Greek gods who could come down to Earth from Mount Olympus or Thor riding on the Bifrost between Earth and Asgard. We have to do that again. I think the next guy in the video has the right idea. So there is a direct connection between the divine realms and the beginnings of our personality, our identity, our nation. It seems to me the Yellow Emperor was someone who had a connection between the Earth and the divine realms. At least that's what the ancient Chinese seem to have believed. Whether you believe that is up to you. So anyway, the Yellow Emperor started leading the people of China until he ruled half the world. And his brother, yes, there is a brotherly thing going on here. I've never met this man in my life. He's my brother. Adopted. Ruled the other half. Then the Yellow Emperor, Huang Di, fought his brother, who was called the Flame Emperor, Yan Di, and won using a water attack against the Flame Emperor, who was obviously related to the fire element. So if this was a video game, it would be the perfect elemental strategy. And he thus conquered what was described as the world, but that would obviously just mean China. He then had another battle with Chiyo, the god of war, and won, with the support of a dragon who was the ultimate executioner of Chiyo. He then had to defeat four of the five emperors, or Wu Di. Now, he was the fifth. They all had names that were different colors, hence he was the Yellow Emperor. The others kept threatening him outside his city walls, so he fought them all and won, solidifying his rule of China. Then after ruling for 100 years, the Yellow Emperor prepared to leave the Earth. He installed a cauldron and the heavens opened and apparently a yellow dragon came down from the heavens and he rode that up to the stars. Are we really just talking about folklore here? or did something actually happen in real life? And of course the answer is aliens. So the ancient aliens dude insists that this cauldron was some kind of beacon and it signaled to a spaceship to come and pick the yellow emperor up. Something was witnessed by our ancestors that they could best describe with the vocabulary that was available to them at the time. Sure, but that doesn't mean that it was definitely a spaceship though. This to me sounds like a description of some type of UFO encounter. It's very possible that the Yellow Emperor was actually traveling on a UFO. All right, of course, yeah, must have been, must have been a UFO. But you know, it's a legend from almost 5,000 years ago, so who really knows? Personally, I think the idea of him actually riding off on a real dragon is way cooler than a spaceship. Now it says in the Shiji, Huang Di Er Shi Wu Zi, Qi De Xing Zhe Shi Si Ren, the Yellow Emperor had 25 sons and 14 of them were given surnames. And these were like the original tribes of the Chinese people. So if you meet someone with any of the surnames that you see on screen now, they could be a descendant of the Yellow Emperor. Ask them if they can travel up to the heavens on a dragon or a spaceship or if they're an alien. I don't know. Guys, the Yellow Emperor is a legendary figure, so many of the stories about him are very unclear. 
But he is believed to be the grandfather of Chinese civilization, the one who kicked the whole thing off almost 5,000 years ago. And guys, if you want to learn more about ancient legends, not just from China, but from all over the world, do check out my new channel that I am launching, Secrets of the Ancients. I plan to upload one video per week on miraculous things from history. So a little about China, a little about other countries. And that's because these videos have been so popular on this Learn Chinese Now channel, which is kind of supposed to be about learning Chinese. <laughs> I want to do more of them and I want to cover other cultures, not just China. So I'm making a whole new channel where I'm going to put a load of that stuff. Do subscribe. I will have videos on that channel very, very soon. And there'll be a subscribe link for that on screen now. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.